We're here to do some trailer trash talk. <laughs> Mr. Movie. So what trailer trash talk is, is we're going to review trailers and kind of give us an opinion about them before they hit theaters. And then we'll see the movie and kind of tell you what, what we, we think, th what we thought from the trailer and everything. But this is just the first kind of official first trailer for Creed. It's supposed to come out in November of this year, so right around Thanksgiving. So it's about August 7th, September. So we got about, about another three months. So this is just the first trailer. Here we go. Here we go. And we'll Live commentary. Okay, so what we see is we see uh, Michael B. Jordan uh, just sort of under punching uh, the wall, <laughs> punching the wall, <laughs> and he looks like he's maybe down in the basement of like a. He's like in a prep room of a prep room, and you can see him walk in, walking to into the of Creed. to the chain of Creed. Then we see some uh, eagles nice. and sort of mentions nice of Philly, Philadelphia. Yeah, uh, Mickey's ring, who is. Mickey was the trainer of Rocky in the uh, Rocky films. Oh, yeah. And so that was sort of something that we saw. There's a lot of uh, symbolism from Rocky in there. Yes, because this is sort of... It's kind of foreshadows that this is a connection to Rocky. Well, it's... And we see sort of him boxing and kind of doing a lot of... Doing a lot of training. Training and stuff. So, right off the bat, you just think it's another typical boxing movie. Yeah, that's the thing about it was, was you felt like, okay, what in the hell is going on? Because you're like, going, who's this guy? And there's a girl, we kind of get the relationship. He might go to prison, we're not sure. Now it's coming together with some of the connections with Apollo Creed's fights. No, he mentions the third fight. Third fight, yeah, and the third it's fight takes... closed doors. Yeah, and that's what happens at the end of Rocky Three. And here's the pivotal moment where we find out this is Apollo Creed's actual son. And then we see some stuff, kind of a, they talk on a talk trash. And then a lot of like clips. There's a scene of him having a, his father's boxing trophy. boxing trophy. And then Adonis Creed sort of says kind of the same speech that he's give that Rocky gives in Rocky Balboa or Rocky Six. You know, it's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep going moving forward. And so we kinda of get Creed and then And then we roll into the classic Rocky Balboa speech about overcoming yourself. So that was Creed. Um, what do you think about this trailer, Steve? Um, well, see, for me, I like. For me, that was kind of the thing that really kind of got me into, into at least kind of starting the Rocky series, was I was kind of in the movie theater, like going, "Oh, this movie seems really interesting," mm -hmm. and I had no idea it had anything to do with Creed. To be honest with you, when I saw the film Creed, I was thinking, I got that same idea from the music, the the, the artist. Uh, oh. Yeah, and so, but I like kind of what it's doing because it's sort of passing the ropes, kind of keeping the legacy going um, of the Rocky franchise and not doing it where it's saying, you know, like the sixth one, which I haven't seen, but the sixth one is more of, I think, Rocky's kind of last fight battle with uh, kind of this, uh, I think it's Mason Dixon can... Kind of can the old guy do it, but in uh -huh. this in this one you can really see just a difference. There's going to be a different in attitude because oh, I've yeah. seen the I've seen Rocky one through four, and you know uh, Apollo Creed is a lot more full of himself. He's 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 more of a showmanship uh -huh. kind of thing. Flashy, yeah. Uh, well, boxer. he's flashy, more of a flashy boxer, more of you know wants to do it for the camera uh -huh. and. Um, and I think it was maybe four where he takes on Drago for like charity. Uh -huh. This is a, a, a Apollo Creed, uh -huh. and he's like, you know, he's fighting him, and he's like, come on, come on, you know, this is for charity. Dragon's just like 
beaten him to death. And that's kind of how he, you know, that's there's that line in the trailer where he says, you know, these people got to fight for life. Your daddy fought in the ring, and he died in the ring. And he says, I don't know him. Uh-huh. And so we could probably get an idea that she was probably pregnant with Creed's kid and just found out in somewhere between, you know, and it's, let's see, 19... He's probably what? How old do you think uh, Apollo Creed or his son, Ad- his son looks? He looks probably 18 to 20 years old. I'd say, like, probably in this movie, it's probably 16 to 18 years old. You think that way? Uh, early? That early? Cause but you think he's older? I think he'd be a little bit older. All right, Steve, how old do you think he is in this trailer? I'm guessing he's probably about 26, 28 about that age because if you think about it 79 was 78 was when the first one came out he probably died he died in the fourth one which was probably 87 or 88 this is Apollo Creed that this is Apollo Creed because that was the fourth film IV because Rocky 5 came out in 1990 so he could be maybe a little bit older than that it takes 30 years after the death of Apollo Creed what what do you think about this trailer? I like it. I like I I like how it's sort of the rock it, for 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 somebody who probably has no idea about the Rocky series. Um, it kind of it doesn't try to be like oh it's a Rocky movie, and it doesn't really try to be that because I think it's sort of the passing the torch, you know. So Stallone's like how sixty eight, sixty seven, uh-huh. and so which is kind of hard to believe it sometimes since he's been doing all those expendable movies but i think because he and i think that's kind of and that that's kind of a nice way to give you know kind of the pass the torch along they try to do it in five but with the guy with his with the character named tommy gunn but he was too cocky because in five he didn't really take rocky seriously and more of it's like, you know, it's not about the fame. It's more about the skill than about the fame and fortune kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But I like how they're doing this. I like how they also bring in the next generation of, the, the, and even just the style of boxing, you know. Uh-huh. And just, it's it's a great trailer. And I think it can, it gives, you know, for, for two, two things. I think for people who know the Rocky series, they can kind of find the, the winks and the, 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 the uh, stigmas of the mm-hmm. film but for people that have no idea it could also I mean that's kind of like for me too I saw this trailer I was like you know what I'll check out the Rocky you know I've never checked out the Rocky series before so exactly it kind of sparks an interest kind of sparks an interest and it's an easier way than saying oh we're going to do a Rocky film it's you know it plays with the you know plays with the storyline uh-huh. kind of like I mean you know when we talked about Tokyo Drift I mean that was kind of a thing maybe it doesn't like spark the interest but you're kind of like going. I okay, wonder how this fits in. Yeah, what, exactly. Yeah, you know, I mean, and then you kind of start watching them all, and you're like going, "Oh, well, it fits in perfectly now." Exactly. And yeah. that was kind of one thing that I think that's an interesting view on Creed, and it's you know because they have because like in the because in the sixth one, Rocky Balboa, his son's more of a you know doesn't really go down the path. Rocky's son uh-huh. doesn't go down the path of his father and I think it's an interesting kind of thing where your arch nemesis turned friend is going to you know basically be, be the one that be, takes the torch yeah, and, he's also, and runs with and it. he's also the one he's, he's, he's kind of like Mickey from the first you know very kind of like you know yeah Rocky is like, Rocky he's like is, the yeah. trainer Mickey kind of character it's kind of cool tie in yeah. yeah kind of cool and tie in and you know and it's and it's and I think can it bounce to a series like a another continuous series of it it may. It may just kind of feel like a, okay, this is a nice, tra- you know, this is a nice... Send-off, even. Well, next generation, not send-off, because I felt like that was kind of the thing was with Rocky VI. Uh-huh. It sort of, it was a nice send-off for that character, for, yeah. for Stallone. But this could be kind of like Rocky-verse, if you would kind of take, you know, kind of put it in that perspective. It's like, kind of like... You know, we'll kind of see a different, and it's a different. And if you notice, it's a whole different style of boxing. That you know, even just kind of the way it looks, and the you know, the trash talking, and the 
Exactly. And, you know, so... They're with the media and everything. Media too, and so, everything. Yeah. And, you know, it'll be... Inter- like, you know, he's going to have a love interest. And I bet you anything, when you see that movie, you're going to probably go, Whoa! You could probably compare it to Rocky and Adrian, but to be honest with you, the Rocky and Adrian thing is like, Rocky, you know, Adrian's kind of like that school teacher or that library girl that you're trying to, trying to, you know, it's like trying to be fun, trying to like woo, but she's like, I don't want to spend time with you. I've got to go do my homework, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, but this will be a more modern relationship. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I mean, obviously, yeah. And there's, it's a very, and it's also a generational thing. And I think exactly that's kind of what makes it good. So. In conclusion, what did you think of the trailer? I mean, did you uh, like it, or I'm, did you I'm kind the of... the same way. It, like, really kind of sparks your interest in the whole Rocky series and, like, the tie-ins with the little posters and everything about Apollo and even this conversation with Rocky is really intriguing, so uh, I'm and, looking and it, forward to it. Yeah, and I think that's what makes it good is that, you know... And I think that if, you know, for me seeing all the seer if you know once i get done with six i can kind of re come back to it and let go okay there's a few things here and there's a few things there exactly so and you know i liked it i'm really kind of interested to see where it goes and if it kind of gets if it if it if it can carry the legacy of the rocky series but yet also spin off to what it wants to be and it can say you know here's you know and it's almost kind of like you could say here's rocky one two three four five and six as one section and if Creed does well enough you know it could either say here's Creed and you know because they could be taking the gamble of it mm-hmm. but if they if Creed does well enough we could probably see Creed 1 Creed 2 Creed 3 now also in you know kind of we'll still we still have to kind of get a development of sort of who this character is exactly but I'm, I'm looking forward to it